here broadcasting the first 15 minutes or so of our weekly radio show right here live on Facebook Live. So glad to have you on board as we talk about everything that has to do with moving ahead in life. Now, after this show that I'm doing, we do the first 15 minutes or so of our show every week right here live on Facebook as we record into the internet. And if you want more information, and listen to thousands of hours of our radio show, go to talkdavid.com or davidessel.com and look at the top link. You're going to see this little thing that says David's radio show, and you'll be able to listen to thousands of hours of archived radio shows right there at the website, talkdavid.com or davidessel.com. So welcome aboard, and we answer questions from all over the United States of America. 27 years now. We've been on the air with David Essel Alive. We love talk radio. It's the coolest thing in the world. And we're going to get to some of your questions right now. Okay, so welcome aboard. Nice to have you with us. The very first question is out of uh, Seattle, Washington. And uh, on a Seattle radio station recently, you discussed the importance of morning supplements for focus and energy. Can you please remind me what you were talking about? Hi, Dylan. Good to see you there, honey. Morning supplements, we think amino acids are the most important thing in the, in the world to take first thing in the morning. I'm going to talk about two amino acids that are crucial in regards to you being on your best, focused energy, and having an uplifted mood. Number one is tyrosine, the amino acid tyrosine. We love it. We recommend it to all of our clients. Tyrosine is all about focus and energy. Normally when people take it, take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And if you're taking, let me do a little caveat here. If you're taking your supplements, especially amino acids, and you're on antidepressants or anti-anxiety, hold up. If you're on anything for antidepressant, anything for anti-anxiety medications, pharmacological from your doctor, hold on before you combine amino acid therapy with your pharmacological agents. Anna, nice to have you with us. And the problem is, is that there could be a contraindication. There could be a conflict between what your doctor is prescribing and what I'm recommending on the show. I am not a doctor, but I do work with doctors all the time. And I got to tell you, we've had so many of our clients over the years, their doctors have agreed to take them off of antidepressants, to take them off of anti-anxiety medications, to take some of these amino acids that are incredibly powerful. So number one, tyrosine. It's great for focus and great for energy. Now the amounts differ from person to person. You can Google information on the internet or you can email me at talkdavid.com and I'll ask you a series of questions about your age and your weight and your height and all that. Then I'll recommend what I believe the right dosage to take amino acids first thing in the morning. Take them on an empty stomach. Take them before you have coffee. As a matter of fact, we recommend people who are taking amino acids for focus and energy in the morning to cut back your caffeine caffeine intake by at least 50%. Okay, cut it back because that's what the amino acid supplementation will do. Very similar to caffeine without the jitters, without the negative side effect. The second one, and you want to write this down, is for mood boosting. It's called DLPA. The full name is D-L-phenylalanine. Now, unlike individuals that take antidepressants, the whole purpose of antidepressant is to stop you from going deeper into your depression. With amino acid therapy and DLPA, D as in David, L as in Larry, P as in Peter, A as in Apple, DLPA lifts your mood up. Antidepressants keeps you stable from going deeper. DLPA boosts your, boosts your mood up. So once again, you need information about dosage. Absolutely. Diane just sent a little message here right on Facebook saying she's still taking her DLPA. Awesome, D. I love it. That's awesome. It works. I can't tell you how many people that I have that I work with that I have them on these different amino acid supplementations and they can get the hell off of pharmacological agents. It's awesome, okay? So in case you just tuned in, you are listening to David Essel Alive. We've been on the air for 27 freaking years now. Right now, we're recording the first portion of a show that you can listen to its entirety at our website, talkdavid.com. Just go to the homepage, look for the little thing that says David's radio show, and you can listen to thousands of hours of radio archives, okay? So, but if you want to boost in the morning, just like the writer here came and told us from Seattle, Washington, you want the boost tyrosine DLPA. If you need more information for you specifically, email me at talkdavid.com. Um, and Di just said oh, she's off of antidepressants, off of anti anxiety. 
she did a lot of work and she's taking amino acid supplementation. That's how powerful this stuff is, okay? So welcome aboard. Great to have you with us. All right. Oh, the next question. Uh, this is out of New York City. One of our listeners in New York. Please talk about diet soda and depression. I drink three cans a day, seven days a week. I felt depressed for a number of years. I need help. Listen, I think it was around 1994, my very first caller to the radio show that was asking me about the link between diet soda and depression. And I said, honestly, I don't know, but I'm glad you called. And I went and researched it. And oh my God, in 1994, there was tons of information linking diet products, aspartame, sucralose, every diet sweetener in the world to depression, to anxiety. I mean, it's incredible. If you go do the research, don't just take David Essel's word for it. Go do the research. You're going to be blown away. Let me give you a great tip. And here's one of my clients I'm working with right now. A number of weeks ago, we were going through and making all these changes, and she hit a plateau with her attitude. So finally, I said to her, like, what is it that you drink and eat on a daily basis? I want to know everything because we've been doing great work. You're seeing these huge increases in your attitude, but now we've hit a plateau. She sent me an email and that she was consuming and had consumed for the last six, seven years diet, do, or no, yeah, diet Dr. Pepper every day. Diet, diet, diet can lead to susceptible people altering brain chemistry, either leading you to high levels of anxiety or depression. We got her off of the diet pepper. The diet, doc, now Dr. Pepper doesn't have caffeine, so her problem wasn't caffeine. It was the fake sweeteners, the fake sugars. Listen to this, gang. Within seven freaking days, her attitude was going up through the roof. She sends me a text every day on a scale of 1 to 10 where her emotional state is, 1 being terrible, 10 being perfect. And I'll tell you, over the last number of weeks, she's hitting 7s almost every day just from removing diet soda. It's incredible. Okay, so listen. Continue to listen to this information. If you don't believe me, that's fine. Google it and find out for yourself. But you're going to be blown away what one small change like that can do to your attitude, okay? For those people that are just joining us, you're tuned in to David Essel Live. We tape the first 15 to 20 minutes of my radio show every week right here live on Facebook. And then the rest of it goes into our archives at talkdavid.com. At the top of the page, look for the little link that says David's radio show and you can listen to months of our past archive radio shows. We're so glad that you're with us, okay? We're gonna get into one more question here. Let's see which one we're going to choose. We've got questions coming in from all over the United States. Uh, okay, this is from West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, I saw you on West Palm Beach TV recently. We, uh, we were on the NBC affiliate in West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, I followed you for 15 years. That's good, but how come you haven't followed me for 27? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Um, do, oh, this is a great question. Do your peers in the world of personal growth agree with your position on that positive thinking is not that powerful? Isn't that great? That's a great question. So let me tell you this. There's a lot of my peers that do not agree with me, okay? There's a lot. There's a lot of people that still want to tell you that whatever you believe you can achieve and whatever you put out into the universe, it must respond in kind. We don't believe it anymore. We really don't. We don't believe in all of that kind of stuff. We believe that positive thinking will account for 20% of your success and no more unless it's a miracle. Now, if you say, you know, I thought positively and I made a vision board and seven days later I met the, my partner for my life or I, you know, won, a, won the lottery or whatever it might be, then we're going to say good for you. But that's called a miracle, okay? That's not normal. If it was that easy, there would be no more books written after the law of attraction and the secret and all these books that claim that you can just think your way to riches. There wouldn't be a need for any other books, but obviously it doesn't work. You know, a statistic that I love to use all the time, gang, is that about 15 to 20 years ago, only 4% of Americans earned $250,000 a year. Okay, it's a very small little pocket of people that earn $250,000 or more every year. In 2017, the statistic hasn't changed. 4% of people in the United States of America will earn $250,000 or more. If the secret and visualization and vision boards, if they were all so powerful, that statistic should be through the roof right now. But it's not. 
And so there's a lot of my peers, though, that still want to teach that kind of stuff. And we say, well, good luck. You know, we don't buy it anymore. I used to teach it up until 1996. I was one of those guys on stage saying, whatever you believe you can achieve. <laughs> and now I go, what a bunch of crap that was. Because if you want to work your ass off, you might be able to achieve it. But just because you believe it doesn't mean that you're going to achieve anything. Now, the other thing I want to say in our number one best-selling book on positive thinking, the title is very interesting, Positive Thinking Will Never Change Your Life, but this book will. We have six New York Times best-selling authors who are doing the same work that I'm doing that wanted to endorse the book and not only endorse it, but write their story in it. You know, Jenny McCarthy, the celebrity, she gave us one of the most cute and beautiful quotes I've ever gotten. We've gotten gorgeous endorsements from Wayne Dyer and Deepak and Kenny Loggins and all these people. And the most recent one was Jenny McCarthy. And she said that David Essel is the new leader of the positive thinking movement, end quote. And that was so gorgeous. And we love Jenny for doing that. And that's what she gave it to us after reading the book. If you want a copy of our book, if you want to read chapter one for free, Go to talkdavid.com or davidessel.com and get chapter one for free and you can see where we're coming from. So there's a lot of my peers that don't agree with me, that they still want to teach all this stuff about the law of attraction and bringing you millions of dollars on the perfect body and the perfect soulmate and all this stuff. We don't believe it. You know, We believe that people that achieve huge incomes or great bodies or awesome relationships, it's usually because they work their ass off. They do what they'd rather not do. That's the power right there. Now, we think you need to think positively. We encourage people to have affirmations in the morning, and I do. I spend the first hour every day in the morning in my mind, meditation, prayer, journaling, affirmations, everything. But then I let it go, and I go and do the work I'd rather not, and that's what's led to all my success in life, and that's usually the secret to everyone, if you want to call it a secret, right? Hey, you've been tuning into David Essel Live 27 years on the air. It's one of the many things I do in life that I absolutely love and have a passion for. You can go to our website, talkdavid.com, and listen to thousands of hours of archives. And this very show is going to be up there too, okay? So I want to wish everyone a great day. And don't forget also, if you're looking for a little inspirational boost every day, join David Essel's Daily Video Boost. And Monday through Friday, you're going to get a video sent to you first thing in the morning to lift your spirits, to make you think, to get you moving in a good direction. So go to the website. I'll list it below this video right here. And if you join up now, you're also going to get a free copy of our number one best-selling book on positive thinking sent in the mail to you, signed to you. Okay, so it's a great time to join our video library, David Essel's Daily Video Boost, and get the book sent to you in the mail. Have an awesome day. More radio shows coming to Facebook Live in the future. Okay, guys, take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.